What's up, shooters? I'm Rob. I'm Bailey. This is RS Solutions, and today we're going to be talking about Cobra Hoods and Gillies. Alrighty, next up, we're going to be talking about Cobra Hoods. With me right here, I have a Cobra Hood from Tactical Concealment. What is a Cobra Hood? For those of you that don't know, a Cobra Hood is a camouflage garment that is essentially a t-shirt that opens up, slide both arms in, has a hood on it, and then it'll attach in the front. Obviously, backside you have your attachment points for vegetation or any kind of artificial camouflage material. Pros and cons to the Cobra Hood. Pros, it is lightweight, it's packable, and it is for the most part, very ventilated in comparison to a ghillie suit. Some cons are overall coverage of camouflage is limited in comparison to a ghillie suit and the protection that it provides to the clothing that, you, that you're wearing. So if I have utilities on and I have a, a cobra hood on and I'm doing some kind of low movement where there's a lot of friction with the ground, you're gonna see more tears and damage to the utilities that you're wearing in comparison to a ghillie suit. Next, we are going to grab our cobra hood and then we're going to head back here into the trees and show the visual representation, the pros and cons of actually using the cobra hood. During that time, I'm just for all the haters out there, I'm still gonna be wearing my black tee and my black pants and the, the purpose of that is to exaggerate the area that's not actually concealed by the cobra hood so it can give you an understanding of the overall area that a cobra hood cov covers uh, and that plays into the pros and cons. Um, additionally I will not be having cami paint on my skin to start off as we progress to the, the adding of the camouflage in my environment, uh, I will be applying cami paint just to um, show those the benefits of cami paint. So, I'm gonna head back here and start the application of the veg. All right, so I'm not gonna take any time to show you how to actually go through the process of attaching the vegetation. That video has been covered by Recon Circo, so I'll make sure that they get a tag below to that video and to their to their YouTube as well. All right, so now I got some vegetation on my body. I've become a bush as much as I can. Now I'm going to create a little bit of distance between me and you, and we're going to, like I said before, see that visual representation of the pros and cons of the Cobra Hood. So we're gonna be changing up with some lenses that allow for you to have a wider field of view. And we're gonna have some lenses that magnify that picture so that you can be a little bit closer to where I am. And just notice like how the ghillie is beneficial in some ways and how other ways it's not. Something else that I'm going to include after is obviously on my body, you can see that there's a lot of exposure right here of the fabric that's below the cobra hood. After I do this, the, the walkthrough, I'll show you how we can apply a bungee to help cover up this, this space right here.
I'm about to put some cami paint on to continue with the footage. If you have questions as far as how to put cami paint on in like a nice way, an effective way, again, I'll link and tag uh, Recon Circo down below and check out their footage. Alrighty, so now I have my cami paint applied. I don't have anything on my arms. I'm still running just a black t-shirt, but just a couple seconds ago, I was talking about bungee cords. So I've got a bungee cord here, and I've got a bungee cord here, and they just loop around the back side of my veg. And so what this is used for whenever I'm running a cobra hood is it's going to secure vegetation that matches what I'm already using in my environment to help break up whatever clothing I have that's underneath this this cobra hood. So it could be a chest rig, it could be a plate carrier, it could be just some camouflage utilities, it could be just a black fucking t-shirt like this, but I can use these bungees to help with that deception and breaking up the, that clothing that I have underneath me to help match my environment more. So right now I'm gonna grab the veg that I've already picked and I'm gonna stuff it into my bungees and we'll show you what it looks like here in a second. All right, so now I have my bungees on my body and the additional vegetation applied. Something that you'll notice is whenever you're slipping everything in, it's gonna get flat. And so to keep that texture and the volume of the vegetation that you're using to look more realistic, you can help, you can slip some of the branches out to help cover up that bungee and just add to your camouflage. So pretty much in product right now with me in civilian clothing. I still got my fucking, my jeans on, my black t-shirt. I've got cami paint applied, got my cobra hood on with some veg that's in this environment. And this is me, quick 360. And now we're gonna throw a higher power lens on the camera and I'm gonna move out the distance. And again, continue with the same movement patterns that I was using before to, to provide you with those visual pros and cons of using a Cobra hood. All right, so we just went over cobra hoods. Now we're moving forward to ghillies. So as you can see, I have my ghillie top, ghillie bottoms, I got my veil. Pros and cons of a ghillie suit. Pros is it is pretty much covering the majority of my body, so it provides really good concealment in comparison to the cobra hood. Another pro is, as you can see on the front, you generally have fabric attached to the torso on the front side, the legs on the front side. What that does is it lengthens the life of this camouflage uniform whenever I'm on my face, I'm, on, on, I'm dragging my body across the ground for prolonged distances. This material that's generally attached to the front holds up to friction significantly better than other fabric. So we'll roll into some of the cons. Cons of this ghillie suit is it is very bulky so if you're packing it out it takes up a lot of room in your pack additionally it's heavier than the cobra hood so that's additional ounces in your pack which is more pain in your pack now we'll talk about some of the pros and cons so in a cold environment this ghillie suit can help keep me warm in a hot environment it's going to make me sweat my dick off and be completely miserable 
So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you all what a lot of guys do, which is accept the fact that my ghillie, for whatever reason, now makes me invisible. So I put a ghillie on. I don't have to put any veg on it. I'm just going to go into whatever environment I'm operating in, and I get the, the magical disappearing act. I'm going to show you all that that is not how it works. So I'm going to go out to a couple different distances and run through the process of different elevations and show you that this does not make you disappear. There are things that you have to do, and it's things that guys know that they have to do to make this ghillie suit work appropriately. All right, so we'll head on out and do that. 